Over the years, I've released so many Protoss videos to celebrate my beginner Protoss guide reaching 100,000 views. I'm going to be extending the Olive Branch to my Terran brethren and releasing a Terran beginner build order. Let's go. So just as in my Protoss guide, I'm going to be providing a beginner macro build order for Terran players to get you guys up to speed playing with the typical Terran units and really having a lot of fun. It's going to provide a very safe, solid macro style that's going to work really well against Zerg and Protoss players. If you're in the lower leagues, you can also do this build against Terran, but if you're getting towards that Platinum Diamond, you might struggle a bit. I'm not saying you couldn't do this build, uh, but you might start losing some games. So really, this build is going to be great for really low level players, all the way up until Diamond against Zerg and Terran. Really, you can keep doing this up until Masters. Like, I have played against this style in Grandmasters, and I've lost to it. It's really, really powerful. We open up with the standard Supply Depot, Barracks, Gas. We're going to be sticking on one gas for a very long time because we're going to be hitting a three racks timing. Against Zerg, against Terran, we're going to be building only Marines. Against Protoss, we might add in some Marauders as well. Now, this is not the end of the build. It means we're going to hit this nice timing. If you're in the lower leagues or if your opponent is just not prepared and you're really hitting this timing crisply, you're probably just going to win a lot of games with it. So that's going to be awesome. But behind it, we're going to be committing to a two base all in and really getting you familiar with the Marine med Medivac Marauder composition. Maybe chuck in some Widow Mines, some tanks. It's going to be a lot of fun because you're just going to get so many units out really, really early. So once the barracks start, uh, finishes, you build our reactor. We're not going Reaper here. We're not scouting. You could go for a scout, of course, but I'm not wanting you guys to do this. We're really just focusing on everything back at home. So after all that, command center on the low ground, and then you pull another SCV to build a supply depot at the ram. And then this SCV that builds the supply depot, we actually go down and build a bunker in the natural. The reason why we go for a reactor and marine production uh, is really, really good. By skipping the first marine and the first reaper, it actually makes it more safe in a lot of ways because you just get a lot more units out quicker. So you can deal with the first Adept without really too much hassle. Now after a bunker, we're then going to be adding a second barracks in our main base. Now there's a nice thing that you could do here as you get more advanced. You could skip this bunker or you could delay it and get this second barracks down earlier, but it's not the end of the world. So we're just going to keep building workers, make sure your pro production, sorry, your SCV production is 100% consistent. And then you focus on your Marines. Okay, you might have to cut a little bit of marine production like just there. You know, it's five minerals short. But for the most part, try and keep SCVs producing constantly and then try and keep marines producing constantly. Now, you'll notice that once we get 16 workers in the main base, we transfer the rally point, change the rally point to the natural. I'm going to be rallying the next marines into the main base. So we send our four, first four marines to the bunker in the natural, then we send all of the rest of our marines into our main base. There's two reasons for this. The first one is we're looking to hide the marines, so that's going to be great. It's going to shut down our opponent's scouting. If he sees a bunch of marines, he knows that, you know, some sort of stim timing is coming. Once these barracks, by the way, finish, we're going to go straight into tech labs. First tech lab is going to produce stim, the second one is going to produce combat shields. The other reason why we put marines into the main base is, let's say, a medevac flies in, an oracle flies in, you already have units there, ready in position. So I'm trying to keep this simple as possible for you. You notice that you're not looking across the map at all, right? We're just looking back at home, focusing on all that, make sure we're building SCVs constantly, marines constantly, and then, and only then, could we start thinking about doing scouting. We're, like, you really should be able to hit this build order perfectly, right? Okay? Now keep building these marines. Occasionally you might run into a bit of an issue where you don't have just enough minerals, but that's totally fine. And make sure we're constantly building supply depots throughout all of this. So the way I do it is I build a supply depot after the second barracks is completed. And then I just start walling the front against Zerg. Against Terran and Protoss, you probably don't want to wall the front. So you can just start having two, two SCVs building depots all the time. Now as you start getting to 4 minutes 30, you're going to think about moving across the map. And as we move across the map, this is our timing, we add a factory and two gases. Nice and nice and simple. Factory, two gases at 4.30, and then we start to move out. As we move out, we're going to add two more barracks. Sorry, before that we're going to add an engineering bay, just a single one. 
I'm also gonna salvage the bunker. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it helps. And then as we move out, around the five minute mark, straight into that, uh, two more barracks. So we go up to five barracks. These two barracks is gonna go tech lab and reactor. And you're gonna go across the map. And if you really want, you can micro this as much as you want. Stim, forward, kill everything possible. But make sure you're macroing behind this. So try not to mi micro it too much. What you need to do is get everything going. So reactor on the factory, build a starport next to it for the changeover. Keep building units. Look, I'm not looking at my army across the map. You can consider it dead for all intents and purposes, okay? You don't need to worry about it. You can just aim move it into your opponent's base, or you can even bring it home, you know, if you're not too confident with it. That's fine. In this game, I'm just going to pretend like it, it it died because the real focus is on the follow-up, right? Getting, making sure everything is down perfectly. Now, yes, sure, if you micro perfectly and really commit to the push, you might just kill a lot of people, and that's totally fine. But you're not going to be building the macro mechanics that this build is going to help you do. Now, we lift off the factory. You can build a tech lab or a reactor. If you want to build tanks, build the tech lab, like I do in this game. If you want to build widow mines, get the reactor. But straight into that medevac production, straight into marines, keep it going. We're just going to stop SCV production once we're fully saturated and continuously produce marines, marauders. You can add a couple in as well. Obviously against Protoss, and I'll talk about this a bit later, that's going to be really, really important. So just keep on building units. Focus everything at home. Like let's say your army across the map is still alive. You could bring it home. Or you can keep attacking with it. Keep putting on the pressure. But don't spend too much time microing it. The point is, get these first medevacs out, and then go for another follow-up push. Now, I can't remember in this game if I wait for four medevacs, or if I wait for t uh, go with the second, first two. It's really up to you. You guys have freedom with this build. Like, it, it's really a cookie-cutter build. So in this game, yeah, I'm going to wait for the first four uh, medevacs, and then push out. Another thing you could do is, you could lift up into these first two medevacs and do a drop. And then with the next two medevacs, do a push out the front. So it's really, really varied. You can mix it up a bunch. So now we're just going to focus on... You don't need to do any more SCBs. So it's just looking at your base, building marines, building medevacs, and then pushing. In the lower leagues, make sure you have continuous unit production. You're allowed to queue up units. You don't need to be perfect, right? You're allowed to queue up four marines in each barracks. That's totally, totally fine. Now, I'm a bit high level, so I try not to do that. But that's not important. If you guys are floating a bunch of money and, and you really want to focus on this engagement, you need to have this army at home really be continuously produced. So the way it works is you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. We're not going to take a third base for a very long game, a very long time in this game, if at all. We're just going to keep pushing until we win or we lose. You might lose some games, that's totally fine. Once you look back home and you have a big enough army, you can then decide if you want to pu push out with this again. Maybe these uh, fifth and sixth medevac go for a drop. So that's what I mean. It's really up to you how you want to play it. I'm keeping it super simple, right? And just waiting until I get a big enough army, another four medevacs, then I push out with that as well again. And I'm trying to macro at home as best as I can. My advice for pushing forward is if you're going with tanks, you can be nice and slow and methodical about it, right? You can push through really, really simply, spread some marines, be on hold position, and then you can go forward. So that's the build. It's nice and simple. We're going to hit three racks timing early. That's going to kill a lot of people. But then we're going to immediately go into that factory and the starport. The quick meta production. Five racks. Now I want to tell you what we do against Protoss. So at 345, we're going to start queuing up four marauders. So you've built six marines, and now you're going to build some marauders and push out with this as your main army. So then when we push out at five minutes, we have four Marauders. In this clip, I have three, but you should have four. And that's going to be much more effective against a Protoss player. Get Concussive Shells as well, and that's going to be great. Now, the follow-up is completely the same against Protoss. You get the Medivacs, keep building Marauders, though. And we have three Tech Labs worth of Marauders. So you're going to get a huge count of them. And Marauders are key against Protoss. So that's the real difference between doing it Protoss versus Cirque. But as we move across the map, you're going to be hitting a third base all this kind of stuff, it's really up to you how you want to push this through. What I would recommend though, is let's say a, Terran, a Protoss player is sitting there, uh, maybe on three bases, he's being really defensive. You want to have two armies, and this is a high level tactic, right? So if you're in bronze, silver, gold, that's not what you need to do. You just need to focus on macro, and you're just going to walk over opponents every single time. 
But as you get higher, you want to set up two armies against Protoss and hit two different locations. You can do the exact same against Zerg as well. Um, and I would be interested to see how you guys do uh, with this against Terran. I'm pretty sure you can make this style work. Obviously, it's not ideal, uh, but it is okay. One reason why Terran is a lot different is, you know, you have tanks. People play quite defensive. It's very hard to hit a stim timing, <laughs> uh, especially without medevacs. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Really enjoyed the guide. Try it out. Terran players, I think you guys uh, will really, really thrive with this. Work on your macro and you'll be really, really good because you'll start just winning games with the first push and then with the follow-up push, you're just going to crush every single one of your opponents. GG. I think I call him friend. I'm such a kind guy for the AIs. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and check this one out.